time for upon further review. All right, so we send our kids off to college. We all have all of these expectations about how they're going to grow up. And let's face it, we also have expectations about how much money they're going to make after they graduate. And it always seems like a no-brainer. You send them to Harvard, Yale, Columbia. It's going to be a wonderful life without any financial strain. But i got to tell you something. None of those schools had a better value add than two Bronx schools where the grads are doing even better. That's right, SUNY Maritime. After 10 years, $121,000 in Manhattan College, $110,000. Even those Manhattan colleges in the Bronx. So upon further review, does it really matter what school you graduate from? Scotty, what do you think? Absolutely not. I mean, look at this. We're here on the number one network, cable network, news network, Fox. You've got Kimberly, who went to a great school, UC Davis. You went to Central Texas. I went to the University of Tennessee at Martin. It's all about the passion and the life you live with the degree that you get. And if you really actually take what you learn in the classroom and apply it, that's called success. All right, Steve, your chance to make amends with Scotty. What do you think? <laughs> well, listen, by the way, I would say one reason I love the Bronx, and I do love the Bronx, is there's one, one thing the Bronx does well. It creates, it makes Americans. Uh, it is the laboratory of Americans. Immigrants have always come to the Bronx, from the Irish to the Dominicans. Uh, so I think that's part of the mix here, by the way, is hustling people, whether they're immigrants right. or, or domestically right. native-born, uh, going to these schools. So, no, listen, of course, do you have to go to a fancy school? No. I was lucky to uh, because of a little bit of smarts and some decent football skills, but you do not have to go to a fancy school. It's I still, and I still and your have your, your card, too, your uh, <laughs> base football card. Julian, you went to That's a community right. college. I did. Before I went to Hillsdale College, I went to Laramie County Community College in Wyoming. And I think that was such an important experience because I learned hard skills there. I was there learning reporting, just the nuts and bolts of it, under a professor named Raj Chalisky. That was as valuable to me as my four-year degree. I got to tell you, you, your work is absolutely amazing. But something else that's amazing, Kimberly, I went through your book last yeah, night. Thanks. Uh, you, you're very personal. Uh, you know, I mean, this is it's sort very of revealing, isn't very it? Very revealing. Um, and, and I, I think a lot of people it. may look at you and think that you haven't made, that you always had it made, but. Uh, you know, you've put in the work and the struggles, and now you're sharing this information with people. Yeah, I mean, if you read the book, I mean, even people that are, cl you know, pretty close to me, they say, wow, we didn't know all of that, because sometimes people say, they judge you, and they say, well, Kimberly, it looks like you've got it all going on, you haven't had any troubles or any problems, and I've had people say to me, wow, you've had a lot of problems. You've had a lot of things that have happened in your life. I wanted to be able to share. People have a choice in terms of where they can spend their money and their time. I want it to be well spent. That's why I revealed so much about, you know, losing my mother, losing my father, challenges, you know, two right. marriages, etc., and how I made it here through the value of good education and getting help mentoring, etc. Here's the thing. Uh, when you started out as a young district attorney, your nickname was the Hurricane. Yeah. Like, like Hurricane Carter. Yes, Reuben Hurricane uh, but, Carter, but the boxer. It seems like and you've read it your mom, I think, to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. This book, though, are for people who are not natural hurricanes, right. right? I mean, this is for maybe the young man, particularly the young woman out there, who don't have that necessarily intuitive will to fight back or to demand things. This is sort of a blueprint for them. It is. It's how to kind of develop your own inner hurricane, right, where you really feel strongly about yourself, that you've developed self-esteem, confidence, that you're not afraid to take a risk, you're not afraid to fail, and if you do, pick yourself back up. You know, I've been in situations where I thought I was in the best job ever, and I was devastated when I lost the job. I said, wait a second. You know, how can I turn this into a positive? And I got a job that was even better. Yeah. So that can happen. You've got to believe in yourself. And, you know, I, at the end of the day, like when I wake up in the morning, I say, okay, I know I was put on this planet to be fearless. Like get in, get after it. And I want to honor the memory of my parents. They gave up a lot for me to have the education that I had. And, you know, I just hope that I can mentor and reach out to other people, which I try to do every day in my life so that they can get some of the, you know, advantages and some of the skills and life lessons well that it's I a got. fantastic book thank, thank you very you. much we appreciate it and hope thank you come back to see us again yeah i like it here all right there's the book for you <laughs>